Hey everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com with part 7 of my sub $300 PC build series doing an unboxing and brief overview of the ASUS H81M-K Micro ATX motherboard. You can pick it up from websites such as Newegg, Amazon, as well as on eBay. And here's what the front of the box looks like. You can pause the video whenever you'd like to better see what the text on the box says. I would sort of classify this motherboard as being low to mid-range in the sense that it has some features that you'd find for more pricier motherboards, but it still lacks some important things, such as an actual 20-pin USB 3 header for your front USB 3 from your case. And you'll find later that it actually didn't end up being too much of a problem with this particular build. And here we are taking a... The, uh, the motherboard itself out of the box and we do have some included accessories once we get those out from the box so inside of the box are two SATA 3 6 gigabit per second cables and there are a total of four SATA ports on the motherboard itself and you also get a driver DVD this is good to get you going but of course it's usually best to get the latest from the manufacturer's website you also get a user guide which you'll probably want to keep handy for when you actually start plugging in the front panel cables to the motherboard pins. So I'm just flicking through some of the pages in the manual. And whenever I finish that, right there, we do have an IO backplate. It's a pretty plain one from what I'm seeing because it's not color coded or anything like that. So that is the IO backplate. So the motherboard itself has a glossy black finish as well as some gold ports and slots as well as a gold chipset heatsink. At the bottom you have two SATA 3 6 gigabit per second ports, two SATA 2 3 gigabit per second ports, a single full length PCI Express 16x slot as well as two PI, excuse me, PCI Express 1x slots. You have two memory slots for up to 16 gigabytes of RAM and on the back you have a couple of PS2 ports, a DVI out, VGA out, two USB 3, two USB 2, gigabit Ethernet, microphone in, line in, as well as headphone out. And there are a number of fan headers located throughout the motherboard. And that about does it with this unboxing and brief overview of the ASUS H81M-K Micro ATX motherboard. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback about this or anything else, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. But that's it with the video. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you all very soon.